My name is Tamman Van Scoy and I'm a painter. So I do landscape paintings in the watercolor medium. I grew up with artist parents, and so art was always around. I went to an art school growing up, so it was always there. And I had some really great teachers that encouraged me to you know, push it farther saw that there was some kind of talent there and gave me the means to explore different different mediums, you know, different ideas, different ways of expressing my creativity. I think I was fortunate in the sense that I had supportive parents that let me be creative and kind of follow my own uh, my own talents as opposed to trying to put me in a box and, and uh, make me do something that they thought I should do. The technique is more of a dry brush technique, which is unique for watercolor. Usually it's more transparent and transparent washes. And so what I try to do is create um, a painting that has more texture and more contrast than more uh, traditional watercolor techniques. So the way I do that is I add a lot of paint to the brush, uh, more pigment on the brush and less water and almost sketch with the brush as opposed to doing a real wet wash. The paint is actually kind of skipping across the surface of the paper and once it's on the surface of the paper I take a damp brush and blend it so it kind of smooths out all the rough edges and I do several layers of that and then once the painting's finished then I take a, a, an acrylic varnish and spray it on and that seals it and protects it. I'm driving all my work from show to show and on the way in between those shows I see all kinds of scenery all around the country and that's pretty much the basis for my, my inspiration. Then when I get back home, I try to recreate uh, more of the feeling of an area or region as opposed to something specific. So I never take photographs. I always try to capture it in my mind and then when I get back home, recreate it from memory. I want the viewer to experience something peaceful. I want my, my work to add some kind of happiness to your everyday life. So if you, you know, live with my piece, in your house and you get to experience it every day um, and even for a few seconds every day it kind of calms you down or puts you into a different mood, I think then it's successful.